In the year 2026, a team of archaeologists discover a device that creates wormholes leading to a dead city on Mars. The device called the Ark comes from origins unknown, and after 20 years of study the scientists stationed on the Red Planet at the Olduvai Research Facility still have no clue of what happened to its creators. The movie begins in the year 2046 with some of those same scientists being pulled into the darkness by an unseen monster. Not willing to wait for his now one-armed co-worker, the terrified Dr. Carmack transmits a warning before the sealed doors behind him are torn back open. On Earth the company in charge recruits the grizzled veteran Sarge, who puts together the eight-man rapid response team called the Hellfighters with orders to search and destroy. Duke complains as they were just about to go on vacation but is ordered to suit up along with the others. All but Reaper, who the Sarge asks to stay behind as his twin sister is a scientist on Mars that he hasn't seen in 10 years. That's also the reason he chooses to accompany them, as their parents were also both scientists that were killed during an early excavation on the Red Planet. The Hellfighters consist of mostly codenames, with the brother of Duke and best friend of Sarge Destroyer on heavy weapons. The squad's technical expert Mac whose real name's too long for anyone to pronounce. The religious goat, who's very welcome during these visits to Hell but he's also insanely devout to the point of cutting a cross into himself when he takes the Lord's name in vain. And the last regular Hellfighters the junkie Portman, who's good for sending over the wall first. The kid's on his first mission with the team and feels insulted by his codename, as well as terrified about going through the Ark for the first time. On the helicopter ride they're shown Carmack's transmission about a threat and the possibility of survivors. Afterwards they reach a helipad in the middle of the Nevada desert that produces a hidden elevator. The Hellfighters descend deep underground and are greeted at the entry by a scientist who takes them to the Ark. The workers are ordered to put the facility under lockdown for the next eight hours to prevent anything from reaching the surface. The arc's activated and an orb ascends from the core, which Reaper enters first and it shoots the whole team across space to the Red Planet. On arriving at the mirrored facility they're greeted by an early victim of the arc system named Pinky, who during an early test went to one galaxy while his legs went to another. He monitors the team in first person from a security table by the entrance. While the citizens of Olduvai are informed of the quarantine and to remain calm, they're met by Reaper's sister Samantha Grimm, who explains that their primary mission is to retrieve the research for Union Aerospace Corporation. She informs them that Carmack's lab only had six scientists inside but was also used for their weapons research and testing. On entry they make plans to split up into teams of two while Samantha seals them all inside. Veterans Portman and Goat are sent to the genetics lab and find no survivors but a lot of biological products, and a room attached to the back containing an electrified holding cell. Duke and the Sarge check the weapons lab to find it untouched without a single round fired, but are unable to gain access to the exotic guns with their basic level access. Reaper's tasked with protecting his sister as she salvages what information she can from the computers, and sees that she discovered alien remains at the dig site where their parents died. The humanoid Lucy and her child contain a 24th chromosome, making them super strong intelligent and immune to disease, and they could heal wounds almost instantly, though this was a genetic modification which is what the scientists here were trying to study. The remains are evidence enough for Reaper that the entire species were exterminated as it appears the mother was shielding her child from an attacker. The kid and destroyer are sent to search Carmack's office but find a bloody lab coat on the way. When Goat and Portman rejoin them inside the destroyed doors, they open fire on the first fast-moving entity they see but it scurries away. The whole team converge to discover that it's Cormac and he's holding the lady's severed arm. He's gone mad to the point of tearing off his own ear when approached, which Portman talks about in detail to get under the kid's skin, then brings him back up with some Tic Tacs. The two then locate a naked woman and believe they're hallucinating, until she turns out to be feral so they put her down. She's the owner of Karmic's third arm and was using her blood to write a message to the team. Sam and Duke take the scientists back to the lab in the main facility, where they're required to enter through a nanowall which goes completely solid at the press of a button. They attempt to sedate Carmack with the help of Dr. Jenna, as he begs them to shut it all down and that something's inside. Goat does a second sweep of genetics with Reaper and finds all of the test animals dead after being alive just minutes earlier. Another infected scientist that they find feasting on the animals comes at them so they blast him away. By now Carmack's starting to degrade into something else when a second target sighted in genetics and dashes into the sewers. After entering it themselves, the team locate another coat belonging to the husband of Jenna which is the reason she's yet to leave. The team split up and begin searching the tunnels when Reaper gets a glimpse of the creature but the kid makes him lose contact. It then goes for Goat, who has his torch die right at the worst moment and it latches onto his neck. The imp detaches its tongue into the marine before going after Reaper, but is knocked away and put down with only a few rounds. The Hellfighters bring the dying soldier back to the main lab so that Sam can try to save him, and learn that earlier Carmack slipped his restraints and escaped into the uninfected facility. 
Demanding to know what's really going on, Sarge is told by Sam that she has no clue and has never seen anything like them. As tensions flare up Reaper notices that it's not the same one they shot at in genetics. This whole time Mac has been keeping the Ark on lockdown and begins evacuating the entire population back to Earth, then gives Pinky a gun and seals him inside the room to guard it. The Hellfighters attempt to secure the only other entrance located at the archaeological dig. While searching for the door Reaper has flashbacks as that's the place where both of his parents were killed, when they come across another deceased scientist who was attempting to suffocate himself on the surface rather than let the demons get him. Suddenly Max's head's knocked straight off his shoulders without anyone even seeing the attacker, except for Reaper who leads the team in pursuit back into the facility. Sarge warns Pinky to destroy the reactor with a grenade should anything attempt to get back to Earth, then leaves to use the severed doctor's hand gaining access to the BFG. During their research on the imp, Duke and Samantha begin to get close while discussing Destroyer as being Duke's only family. When he's sent to search for a bone saw, the power fails sending Sam running through the halls terrified as no one responds to her callouts. It turns out to just be a fake out as they're both fine. When on their way back to the lab the power fails again and suddenly another imp exits the shadows to attack Duke. He's able to fend it off long enough to make it back through the nano wall and Sam captures the creature midway. She determines by the neighboring creature's removed appendix that it was once human. As Goat resurrects behind them and begins bashing his own head into the unbreakable glass, the human side of him knew he was turning into one of those demons so he prevented it by destroying his brain. Portman leaves Destroyer alone in genetics and goes to the bathroom at the worst possible time. When discovering the electrified prison for himself, Destroyer's attacked by the larger creature and thrown into the cell below. The Hell Knight's the patient zero for all other imps in the facility, and battles the elite soldier who puts up a better fight than the demon was expecting. Destroyer manages to pin it against a wall with a fallen pipe and attempts to escape the cell up a chain, but the knight escapes and pulls the chain loose causing him to plummet down to his death. The creature then goes after Portman while he's on the toilet, entering through the ceiling and throwing him around the cubicle while Pinky witnesses and has a good laugh. His teammates get there too late and begin to open fire as Sarge tests out his new plasma-powered toy destroying half the bathroom and probably finishing off Portman if he wasn't already dead. The remaining Hellfighters regroup back at Sam's lab, where she determines that the demons are actually just humans who were altered by the addition of the Martian chromosome, with the imp stuck in the wall being Carmack by way of his missing ear. Sarge shoots him and demands to see his research, where they watch a recording to discover that Carmack deliberately injected the chromosome into a multiple murderer named Curtis. Once turned into a Hell Knight he used a part of the human genome to determine if they're genetically evil, turning them into an imp if they are or just killing them if they aren't. Like Destroyer, whose DNA seems to be ignored by the tongues but it goes wild for the evil scientist Carmax. The original alien society like Lucy and her child must have all been good people but that clearly didn't last forever. Just then Pinky gets word to the surviving squad that the Hell Knight's attempting to reach the Ark. The Hellfighters race back but get there too late, finding that instead of using the grenade Pinky just fled back to Earth allowing the demon to follow him. On Earth the team find the UAC facility full of corpses of the 85 scientists, and begin executing anyone alive in order to prevent the infection from spreading. The Sarge and the kid come across a room full of infected feeding on some scientists, so using Destroyer's minigun the scorned friend exacts some revenge. The grim siblings teleport back to Earth and warn the out-of-control sergeant that some infected aren't evil and won't change, and he's just murdering civilians. As the Hellfighters regroup Pinky reappears still uninfected, having been hiding the whole time while the Hell Knight slaughtered people around him. Despite Samantha telling him that he hasn't been infected Sarge is about to kill him, which is kind of understandable after he didn't use the grenade causing all of this, when the kid enters after locating a large group of non-infected including Jenna. He's told them to stay put, but has to refuse his superior's orders to exterminate them by telling him to go to hell. So Sarge shoots him dead as that's the punishment for mutinous insurrection. Pinky draws his pistol on Sarge not intending to be killed by a madman, but the Hell Knight grabs him and uses him as a weapon against the others, before escaping down the hallway with another potential. The Hellfighters chase them through a nano wall but are ambushed by a horde of infected and forced to flee back through it. The console breaks so the wall stuck in a constant state of fluctuating between its solid state and vulnerable, causing a bullet to ricochet into Reaper's abdomen. Duke suddenly grabbed by the creature through a grate in the floor and is killed in front of Sam by being pulled through it. A distracted Sarge seeing this is tripped through the malfunctioning door and gets dragged away into the horde. With only the two grim siblings alive they flee into a storeroom and barricade themselves in. With Reaper bleeding out badly, Sam injects her brother with chromosome 24 to save his life, which he refuses at first claiming to have done evil things working for Sarge but she's convinced that he's a good person. Instead of becoming a monster, Reaper wakes up in first person with his wounds now fully healed. 
His sister's now missing so with his new reflexes, he slays an array of enemies through the facility searching for her including imps that begin to flee in terror, and even other hell knights that are just as easily dealt with. The one who must have cut its way into Pinky on the red planet steps out with a chainsaw and comes at Reaper, so he leaps behind it and blows its hand off but is knocked from the balcony. Using an explosive he catches the Hell Knight dropping down and completely disintegrates it. A demonic Pinky reappears dragging his wheelchair behind him and looking more like a Martian dog. Using the chainsaw the hero battles the bionic Hellhound, cutting pieces off it while briefly being knocked unconscious, but regaining it with Pinky gnawing at it. Eventually Reaper hits a critical with the chainsaw and puts the pinky dog demon down with his rifle. The camera then switches back to normal, as Reaper reaches the facility's exit and finds Sam lying on the floor. Out steps Sarge having survived the attack using his BFG, but has been infected and is down to one round. He's been waiting for the lockdown to end so that he can use the elevator and reach the surface, and claims to have killed Jenna and all of the other remaining survivors. With Reaper unwilling to let him spread the infection, Sarge fires his last plasma ball narrowly missing and the two engage. The Sarge thinks he's got the edge and attempts to surprise Reaper, but learns that he isn't the only one with superpowers though is the only one currently mutating. After being thrown around for a bit Reaper uses metal bars like ropes to tie the Sarge up, and almost chokes him out, but is overpowered by the hulking man who turns the bar into hand wraps. After holding his own for so long Reaper begins to get destroyed, and has the bar pushed through his hand and is pinned by the rapidly changing Sarge. With no other option he connects their hands together with it to prevent him escaping and turns on the arc, swinging the baby Hell Knight into the wormhole then opening his hand. The Sarge is sent across space landing in the Mars facility, then as Reaper's hand instantly heals, the last Hellfighter flings a grenade through destroying both his boss and the arc. Once the lockdown's finally over, the Grimm siblings return to the surface the only survivors of the chaos and with Reaper's new abilities. And the movie ends. So you made it. I appreciate your time. I couldn't have done it without you. Tell your mother I said thanks. <laughs>